guys good morning good morning and welcome to the vlog um, today is gonna be a bit of an intense day um, today I am attempting to do a full 10 to 12 hour study day now the reason why I'm attempting to do this 10 to 12 hour study day is because I've got a whole lot of uni stuff to do essentially in a nutshell I'm studying three subjects this term and I have three assignments slash quizzes due um, coming up essentially in the next week for all those subjects so it's quite full on this weekend um hence why i just want to like absolutely smash it out i can't really do too much uni work during the week because i work a nine to five job pretty much monday through to friday i only have tuesdays off of which tuesdays i'm actually physically at uni attending lectures and tutorials and things like that so essentially my weekends are all that i have to study so just looking at my google cow um how today's meant to be broken down i did wake up today at around 7 15 i showered i did a bit of cleaning around my room and now it's about 8 20 of which now I'm meant to be spending time with God then afterwards I've got about an, an hour hour and a half to two hours just cleaning the house and then my sister's got like something that's going on at school today um, at her high school so I just got to make sure that I drop her off um, around 10 30 I'm gonna get back home and then just essentially start on the information systems um, subject which is the one that's going to take the most effort I feel and then after that I'm going to take a bit of a break go to the gym have a leg workout um, come back home cook dinner have dinner just relax for a bit and then um, around eight o'clock I'm going to go back into the assignment and then I'm going to switch things up at 9 30 and study for my gen ed quiz so yes I've got my cup of tea here which I feel like there are very few things in life that bring me as much joy as a cup of tea. Anyways, I'm gonna turn off the camera, have my little breakfast date with God, and I'll check in with you guys a bit later. I am so disappointed in myself. So last time I spoke to you, I said I was going to study and stuff. I studied for 30 minutes. I then went to take my five minute break and ended up falling asleep in my bed. Now it's essentially 1.40 and all I've done is like 30 minutes of study. Which means essentially I like to nap for like a whole two hours. So I'm super disappointed and frustrated in myself, but I guess it is what it is. All right, guys, so I just got back from picking up my sister from school. Yeah, I just got back from picking up my sister from school. I've decided I'm changing my mindset. Um, I was very disappointed in myself in the last scene that you guys just saw and still am, but I'm deciding to be positive because being negative isn't going to win us anything today and we don't have time to be carrying bad energy. So we're not doing none of that. We're not doing none of that at the moment. So I've gone and gotten myself a coffee frappe. I'm G'd up. I've talked myself up. I'm not making the same mistake again. I'm going full ham. And this is it.
Hey guys, um, uh, today has not gone as planned at all. It's now about quarter past 11 and I'm nowhere near finishing this assignment. Like, oh. I'm so annoyed at myself. So I went to have dinner, but then I went to have dinner and like I chilled with my family and my mom and stuff like that. And I'd set aside only an hour for dinner, but I ended up spending like two and a half hours having dinner, doing the dishes and like just chilling with my family. Like we just got so caught up in conversation and things like that. So by the time I had finished everything, it was 8.30. And now it's essentially 11 and I feel like I've done literally nothing like this assignment is driving me insane and I'm frustrated because I thought it was gonna be easy like it's only like a thousand word essay it's not a big deal but I feel like the topic that I'm doing I can't find enough research and studies on it so essentially like the whole topic that I'm trying to tackle at the moment is like how ubiquitous computing is being used like in the transport industry so essentially like things like tolls and roads and stuff like that like how that tech is being used by businesses or governments or whatever to design infrastructure so that's what i'm essentially trying to argue and i know it's true but i just can't find the articles and things that i need to support that argument which is like really pissing me off <sighs> I don't know I'm just like super disappointed in myself things just haven't gone according to plan so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pause on this assignment and I'm gonna study for my gen ed course why because I feel like right now I'm really bumped down and I need to like boost my confidence so I'm gonna do a subject that I'm finding really easy so like that gen ed course I'm pretty much studied like about 60% of it so I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening finishing off the other two chapters that I need to study for the quiz and hopefully I can get that done at least that will be like something that I can tick off and I'm at least good for that subject a few moments later Okay folks, so it's 12.40 a.m. and I've just finished chapter 3 or 4 of the gen ed course. So I'm super excited because that means I'm 75 because that means I'm 75% of the way there. So I literally only have one more chapter to go, then I'm officially on top of everything for that subject. So that's exciting. So now my decision is whether to go to sleep now, to finish off the other chapter or go back to the business analytics assignment. I can't decide, we'll see. Okay folks, so as you can tell, um, I ended up deciding going to sleep. So it's now, um, I think 12.50 a.m., which is like the latest I've slept in a really long time. The reason why I decided to sleep is I genuinely could have kept going studying. Like I, I was like in a G'd up mode, but I decided not to ride that wave because this year I've been prioritizing sleep a lot and I've been learning myself as an individual that sleep is such a big thing. So I know if I'd slept late, then I wouldn't have gotten enough sleep and tomorrow would have just been a mess. Like for me, if I don't get my seven hours of sleep, I'm literally like a disaster the next day. So I've just decided to call it a night. I've got my Kindle here, so I'm going I have a bit of a read for about 15 minutes or so so hopefully I should be asleep by quarter past one and that way tomorrow I can wake up at quarter past eight so yeah that's pretty much it from me for today have a good night you see this right here this right here this is getting bigger by the day why because I'm getting more stressed out as the day goes on this ain't it this ain't it <laughs>